So you want to know how to play Mono Geo Ito. Well, first you start with the boom. Ito need defense for defense make him strong. Also, geo damage and crit to make numbers go big. <laughs> anyway, in case you didn't understand my razor speak, Ito will be using defense, geo damage, and crit for his main stats because his kit scales with defense. This makes Goro his best support as he increases defense and geo damage bonus on his skill and gives some crit damage at C6. But because Goro's buff relies on the number of Geo characters in the team, any Geo characters like Ningguang, Geo Traveler, or Albedo should fill in the third slot. As for the fourth one, it could be any support characters who can shield or heal to prevent Ito from taking too much damage while attacking. Since there are many characters who can be used here, I'll just pick two characters based on two themes. Besties and Sausage party! To make artifact farming a little easier, rather than getting the best 4 piece set for Ito and his teammates, except for supports, we'll focus on getting their desired stats instead. For Ito, you can use any 2 piece of Archaic Petra, Husk of Opulent Dreams, and Emblem of Severed Fate. For weapons, you can use Redhorn Stone Thresher or Skyward Pride for 5 star and White Blind or Serpent Spine for 4 star. If you can't afford a battle pass and only struggle with crit stats, you can also use a Black Cliff Slasher which can be bought in the shop using Star Glitter. Now for his supports. Goro can use a 4 piece Exile or a 4 piece Noblesse. His buff is based on the talent level of his skill, so the main stats and substats in his artifacts don't matter much as long as you stack ER and crit. At C4 and above, you can build him as a healer with ER, defense, and healing bonus, and replace the 4th slot with any off-field sub-DPS or burst DPS. Meanwhile, Ningguang and Geo Traveler can use any 2-piece of Archaic Petra, Noblesse, and any of the 2-piece attack sets. While Albedo can use a 2-piece Archaic Petra and 2-piece Husk. And lastly, the Bestie and the Daddy. What? Both will use a 4-piece Tenacity with double HP and healing bonus or crit for Cookie and double HP and HP or crit for Zhongli. The Rotation there are many combos that you can follow to optimize Ito's damage, but since that requires thinking, let's not do that and just unga bunga, yeah? I'll be using Cookie and Albedo for this showcase. The rotation should remain similar regardless of whether you choose the other characters. To start, use Cookie's skill, then switch to Garo and use his skill and burst. Then switch to Albedo and use his skill. Then switch to Ito and use his burst. Do one normal attack, use his skill. Then do two normal attacks and hold the normal attack until he does his finisher. Do three normal attacks, hold the normal attack again until he does his finisher. Use his skill, then hold the normal attack again. For the advantages, he's excellent in single target and decent in AoE or multiple target scenarios. Although Ito's damage is mostly single target, he has great mobility and he is able to chase around opponents without resetting his combos. Additionally, if paired with Albedo, the team's total AoE damage significantly increases. This team has a lot of resistance to interruption. This is because Ito himself has a pretty strong interruption resistance. 
add Garros and Zhonglis, or other shielders, it will make him unstoppable. The rotation is easy to understand and execute. There's no going back and forth between characters to optimize their damage, since most of the damage is coming from Ito and Albedo or Burst DPS Lingguang, in which the latter two have both short field time and high damage contribution. They have little to no energy problems, because it's a mono element team. This team has a low skill requirement because of all the advantages said prior. Now for the disadvantages, they can't be used in scenarios where you need to remove elemental shields or require specific elements in general. While you can replace Zhongli or Kuki with a character that can remove shields, you'll lose survivability. You can also replace Ningguang or Albedo, but you lose one buff from Goro's skill if you don't use Zhongli as a shielder. The team can be expensive to obtain and build. The most optimal team composition is to have Zhongli and Albedo, who are both 5-star characters, and Ito and Albedo or Burst DPS Ningguang need to be mid to highly invested because most of the damage come from them. They need to compensate for the lack of damage from the other two sports. And that's it for Mono Geo Ito. I hope you liked this video. Leave any questions or suggestions you have in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you have any teams you'd like me to make a video on, also leave them in the comments. See you in another video.